all right, you guys have been asking about it. You want to know why I got banned? There's not a big bombshell. It's not like this huge thing. Um, I'm pretty much just getting banned for stupid reasons. It's most likely um, some sort of YouTube bot. Um, there's not a real person checking my cases, so I'm just kind of falling through the cracks, and my channel suffered because of it. My channel has almost a thousand uploads on it. I know it probably doesn't look like that because most of them have been either unlisted, privated, or nuked by YouTube. Uh, I've done my best to take as many um, copies of them as I can. I have them on drives just to try to like keep it as a time capsule, but it's a shell of its former self. Essentially, YouTube keeps hitting me with community strikes for videos I uploaded, you know, maybe a decade ago, maybe more at this point. Um, and it's rules that I'm violating that didn't exist when I uploaded the videos. It's kind of insane. <laughs> um, I'll have a video, for example, where I played a video game that has a terrorist character in it. And I make a joke about that. I'm like, that's crazy. And then I play like the Allah Akbar sound effect. And for that reason alone, that was one community strike that I had gotten. I had another video where I was in high school. I was a high school freshman and I slapped my friend in the face and I like put it in slow-mo so you could see his face jiggle. And I got a community strike for that for child abuse. A child abusing another child, apparently. Um, kind of a crazy take by YouTube. But of course, when you try to appeal it, it goes nowhere. It actually gets instantly denied within seconds because it's just a robot just automatically churning out these community strikes and then applying them. I go into it a little bit more on my Twitch channel. Um, I'll play the clip right here so you guys can kind of see a look at what we're dealing with. Keep in mind, this is one of many strikes that I've gotten and they just keep coming. I got another strike for a video called 10 things I hate about stupid people for hate speech. It has been removed for policy on hate speech. Do I still have that or did, did YouTube permanently nuke that forever? I have, um, shit. I have a, a whole, uh, backup of like a lot of my videos, but I don't have all of them. So I think some of my videos might have been permanently deleted by YouTube. Okay, this is a reason that I got a, a, a permanent, or not a permanent, a, a temporary ban from YouTube. Let's see if this is really that bad. Let's just find out. Let's just find out for, for, this is something that doesn't exist anymore. Hey guys, so stupid people are no doubt the worst type of people. So this is 10 things I hate about stupid people. Number one, they're unsafe. <laughs> Number two, they don't make any sense. Lil Wayne 420 swag, bruh, blaze it. Odd future, man. Number three, they're annoying, bruh. When are you gonna stop being such a Number four, they're religions. What? You don't believe in God? You're, you're gonna burn in hell forever, you Well, everyone- Is it because I said the F word? Not if you're Do they know I'm gay? This is hate speech? The irony. Oh god, you can tell I like, turned off the camera there. Bad editing. The fuck is this? Number seven, their clothes. I have the swag. <laughs> Number eight, their habits. Bro, you don't smoke weed, you're such a f Number nine, their philosophies. I think that we should just like shoot people in the face if they have Ebola. Number 10, they try to change you. Well, you're atheist? You should believe in a magical fairy that grants wishes and flies around and you can't see him, but he's there, like I do. Well, why are you laughing? That was hate speech? That, that was hate speech. I got a ban for that.
I mean, I think I think that makes my case on its own, right? Am I am I wrong? Am I wrong? Content that incites hatred against individuals or groups based on their protected group status isn't allowed on YouTube. This may include dehumanization using slurs and stereotypes, inferiority claims, and or conspiracy theories. Is it because I said as a gay person in a comedy sketch? I, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even say I, I, I'm making fun of homophobes in that like blatantly very on the nose it's not even that funny it's, it's like 2014 humor making fun of homophobes and I'm playing I'm as a gay person playing the homophobe holy shit I, I, I don't know what to say like this is this is why I don't do YouTube anymore like, this is so frustrating. Take a policy training. Your your warning will expire in 90 days to keep the community safe. <laughs> they had, yeah, they, they got to really keep their community safe from me, who made that video 10 years ago, by the way. 10 years ago. They had to, they had to keep the community safe from me, who, who made fun of people who victimized me. I, I am a hate speecher, is what I am. Another thing people brought up is whether or not I can become a partner. They asked what it meant when I said that I couldn't be a partner anymore, that I've been blacklisted. And what that means is literally, if you go to the partnership program page, it just says you're not eligible. And it just says, click here to learn more. And when you do that, it goes to the general like uh, troubleshooting help uh, page. There's no one to talk to. There's no one to appeal to. It's just a thing that I'm stuck with on this channel. Um, I'm just going to a channel that doesn't have a thousand videos that I recorded when I was a snot-nosed 12-year-old that'll get me banned today because I said 9-11 um, was... <laughs> because I said 9-11 was caused by George W. Bush. That is a real thing that I did. I'm sure that video doesn't exist anymore. But when I was like, one of my first uploads was like a slideshow where I would just put like 9-11 conspiracy theories. Cause I was literally 12 and I believed it. When I was a kid, I believed George Bush knew about it and that he was the one who did it. I mean, the, the jury's out on that, but. <laughs> when I was a kid, I was so deep into the conspiracy theories. I genuinely thought the aliens built the pyramids. Another big reason why I just don't upload uh, besides being blacklisted is just, it's not, enjoyable to me anymore. I don't like doing the whole comedy skit thing because I put so much effort into like one video or like even one big project like a film and it gets you know 40 views and it's just not as good um, for the YouTube algorithm because it's just a system designed to make slop right. I need to make more than daily uploads and I just have to churn out garbage. That's why I kind of moved on to Twitch where I do video game design because I'm working towards a bigger project and something that makes me feel a little bit more fulfilled than I do on YouTube nowadays. Speaking of Twitch, I recently became an affiliate over there, which is a fantastic thing. I feel like I'm getting more opportunity on Twitch than I do on YouTube. I feel like they treat me better over there, um, which is why I've stuck to it lately. I've spent about a year over there. I know a lot of people don't know that. I didn't really broadcast it too much because I didn't know if I'd be staying around but at this point I, I am and I stream every Sunday so you can check me out over there um, you can be one of our uh, fun little community members we've even got people in there that are part of my game now because they said something funny I was like oh I'm gonna add you as a character and you're gonna say that in the game but if you don't want to switch over to Twitch that's fine you don't have to I know it's a much different system than it is on YouTube you can go watch my new YouTube channel where I don't get blacklisted and you can see stuff about my game development journey um, I have a new video about a subathon game that I made, the part two to the first one. I would recommend watching the first episode. It has no views, but it's so, so good, and it, it deserves a watch. And to the people who've been following me this entire time, I know it's a very, very few amount of people, but I genuinely, I, I appreciate you so much. I don't deserve the kindness you've shown me over the years. I don't deserve your attention, but I appreciate that you give it to me anyways. I, I really do.
unfortunately, this channel is pretty much dead, and there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, and there's not really a lot that I want to do about it. I don't want to fight to just upload videos on this shitty platform. Um, I'm going to keep the videos up, um, as many as YouTube will let me, I guess. Um, cause it's, it's, it is a time capsule and you get to see literally me growing up, um, throughout the years. And it, it's kind of a beautiful, cringy thing. I recognize that a lot of my videos are terrible and they're not funny. Um, but I was a kid and I was obsessed with content I was becoming so content brained. And that's another reason why I'm really glad that I got out when I did. Because if I didn't, I might be in Japan recording dead bodies like Logan Paul. The attention that I was getting at such a young and impressionable age was really getting to my mind and building an ego and building this unhealthy lifestyle for me that I shouldn't have kept going with. Ultimately, I think I made the right decision but I still do love making content and I still love making things for people to enjoy and to share with each other. Um, so if you want to follow me still and you want to see the things that I'm up to artistically and both creatively, then the links are in the description and I would love to have you. Anyways, I think that's about it. I love you guys. Bye. So, I love you guys. Bye. Oh my god, that voice cracked.